Hi de hi campers. Today we're going to be working on the DJ200 Famia cycle rack. So let's get started. The reason behind my attention to the cycle rack initially came from the fact that the end caps here, over there, down the bottom there, were very corroded and I thought to myself oh, I'll just take them off because they were letting the van down a little bit. So the caps sort of clip over here like so, they go inside the, the van and they bolt on there. I had an issue with the bolt through here, it's sheared off, uh, it's aluminium, very coarse thread, corroded up, snapped it off, so I've cut a new thread in that and basically taken my brackets, stripped them down and I'm ready to put those back apart from a little bit of cleaning up. But something else that niggles me about the DJ200 or this particular one, the way it's set up, is that I find that it's quite high to lift the bikes up and they're quite heavy. So I've just discovered, you know, that there's another mount. You've got your mount here, which is a high one, there's also another mount here. So I'm gonna strip it down and see if I can lower the rails for the bike. Um, when they come down to that level, they'll still be above the number plate. So I don't think there's gonna be any issues. Maybe a little bit more difficult to get access to the door handle, but let's strip it down and see if we can set that up. And while I'm in there, I'll give it a clean as well. First of all, I'm just gonna undo the main bolts here, 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 and here that are holding on the rack. These fixings are 10 mil. I've taken one, two, three, and four out. I'm looking at this thinking I'm gonna to have to also undo this one here and this one here because this bolt is inside uh, the two bars. I'm gonna to have to remove this bar to get that bolt out. That was a bit of a result. Loosening off those two at the top there and there and there allows the whole inner outer frame to pivot downwards. So now what I need to do is literally just remove these two here and here and put them in here and here, I guess. Let's see how that works out. Now. I think I just said I was putting them in here and here, but no, they're actually going to go in there and there because I'm trying to lower it. So that's as simple as that is. I've just got to put all the fixings back now. But like as I said, it doesn't... Uh, infringe on the number plate. What I'm gonna do is give all the nuts and bolts a clean up, bit of grease inside them, just to prevent them corroding, and start to clean it all up, reassemble it. One of the things that always niggled me about the cycle rack was the fact that the cycle, the runners that the tyres sit in, always rubbed on the plastic window cover when it was folded up. And there's marks here which I don't think I'm ever really going to get out. But now, by lowering it 
down to this level, I'm hoping that that won't happen anymore and maybe I can get those scratches out. So let's reassemble and grease everything up and see how we get on. That looks like the basic assembly. I suppose the only way to see if it's gonna really work is to stick a bike on it. So although it's not tightened up, I'm gonna put a bike on and let's see if it's gonna work or not. Well, the first test has gotta be what happens when I close the shelf up. Uh, it isn't tightened up properly, but it won't fall out, he says. That locks into there like that, which is cool. I'm pleased with that and it is no longer interfering with the windows whatsoever. So that's the first test, which is a winner. Well, that was a palaver, and it, I always find the cycle racks the same. I never put them on the same way twice. But anyway, it looks like they're gonna go okay. I haven't got the second bike here, so I can't really try them as a pair, but I generally put an extra strap on them anyway. But yeah, it's looking okay, and I'm quite pleased with it. I've given it all, all the runners a clean up. Um, and it doesn't foul the side of the vehicle, which has gotta be a bonus. And onto the preparation of the end cap stroke brackets for the rail. That's after the four have had a burn off, all the paint's been wiped off them. I've just given them a spray over with uh, some clutch and brake cleaner just to get all the dirt and crap off them. And now I'm gonna give them a coat of uh, a bit of uh, rust converter just to give them a bit of protection before I prime them and paint them up. Anyone who thinks I should clean my workbench up, you've got a point. It is filthy. These probably haven't been off the vehicle. It's a 2000 and it's a late 14 stroke 15. Probably never been off the vehicle in all that time. So they haven't done bad, it's 23 now. Will they live to see 24? The way things are going, I think so. So let's start fitting the brackets back that are all nicely etch primed, rust coated, etc. etc. They slot on there like so. And then my new bolt goes in there like that. And then I've greased up the threads from behind. Just going to 
I'll make sure I can find the damn thing. There it is. It goes in there. I need to wash off of that. Yep. It's threads oversized, I uh, had to do that. So this one's got a different size. Heads and nubbins. A lot neater. This is a piece of like protective film. I was going to replace it and I ordered a roll, but it hasn't turned up, so I'm just going to leave it for now. But it's all on there nice and tight, which is what we wanted. So that slides over there, you've got to open the door slightly to do that. And then we have, the Allen bolts are five mil, and as are the Allen bolts on the actual cycle rack itself, and the screws are 10 mil. This is what should be in there. Uh, I am. I have put a load of grease in the thread hole, so I've got to. Do you know what? I can't remember. Oh yeah, I think I've got in here from behind, didn't I? Yeah, so open the door and basically this one, just do it from the inside. Don't over tighten them because they're only aluminium. Superb. I'll do the other two. That's the top one. Two, three, and four. And that's how they sit inside the vehicle. See inside one. So they just open the door to put those ones in and do it from inside. All that's left to do now is put the end caps on. These caps are available on eBay. This is a genuine one. They're around about 12, 13 pounds each, something like that. You just got a left and a right. I think these fit quite a number of the family range. My goodness, will I ever get into this packet? Oh, there you go. Ooh, ooh. But yeah, exactly the same as the original. Lovely. So that's about it for this video. Pleased with that. I did actually just try to unscrew these ones here and to see if I could slide over the frame a little bit because I was a bit concerned of the overhang of the bicycle in relation to the rear wheel. Now I managed to move the bottom. It wasn't quite square anyway for some reason. I managed to move the bottom, you can just see an old line there, over, but the top one wouldn't go because there's a bolt through here holding the frame onto the door. So I'll have to take the whole lot out from the inside to do that. So I'll see how I get on. But yep, that's it for now. Um, I'll finish this video off. Just gotta say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that and it's of some help. Please comment if you want to. Always glad to hear from you. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye for now.